Welcome back to Viking Football with Bruce Barnum. It's Barney Ball 3.0, third season of Barney Ball on the park blocks and a lot of excitement this season. It is Tuesday morning, Coach. We are two days in, two practices in. What have you seen so far? Um, seen a lot, and I like it all, Mike. Um, uh, we had a new crew come in, obviously our recruits um, from last year, this past season. Uh, joined the vets, and I love them. Um, everything we thought they were in the first two days. Uh, great kids. They're, they're just in. It, it's a close group. Um, I, I'm very happy with what I see right now on the practice field. Okay, and you talked about this a little bit last night with the TV crew that was out here. Talk about, um, y you just alluded to it, getting 100 guys together and getting them all together, coming from all areas, uh, coaches, players, everyone getting them on the same page and, and talk about what that process is like for you. Well, uh, th th that's a puzzle. That's why we do it, Mike. And, and, and like you said, we've got, uh, I've got Compton, uh, I've got Portland, uh, I've got Boise, I've got, I go through, I got Florida. We're all over the, the nation, Arizona, Utah. But um, to bring a group together like that, we get them fighting for the same thing. And I'm talking about teaching somebody to uh, prepare for the next 40 years of their life. I mean. Uh, look, look at all the, look at our world right now, um, away from this fiefdom of Portland State football. Um, but when they come here and learn how to work with people and how to fight and how to win um, and get along uh, to, to their goals, man, that's magic. That's fun. Okay. That was a long-ass answer, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Uh, after practice number one, I wrote a little article. It's on GoVikes.com. Talked a little bit about the offense. Talked about the depth you're building up at all those skill positions. Uh, talked about the construction people coming uh, here behind us. Uh, I watched some practice today, and in with the group at the end of practice, you made a point of something. Turnovers. Turnover. We saw four interceptions in the final series, seven on seven. Defense stepped up in that period today. I did, and that was good. We timed that up perfect uh, to talk about the construction of, uh, of the pavilion. Um, yes, I, I told the team afterwards, um, turnovers. If we're double digits, we're going to win more than we lose. If they're in the, in the Bentes, if they're 20 or more, uh, I told them it'll, it'll be tricky, but we'll either be in the first or second round of the playoffs. That's just, that's just football uh, at any level. So. Great to see that from the defense. You saw two young guys, saw two pups. Um, you know, Anthony, I'm not Darnell Adams, um, had a, a pick and three others from vets that have been here. So um, that'll win games for us. We need to get back that back on track. We'll mention those names. We might have some video of it. Sam Bodine, I think, got one. Bo Deronslet got one. And uh, Dylan Hanley, another new guy, got one. All right, um, Vikings are going to be practicing all this week. Uh, Early next week, I believe, nine practices leading up to a first scrimmage, middle of next week. What things do you need to get going uh, in preparation for that scrimmage so you can do a really good evaluation? Well, eval every day. I'm like, we're, we're evaluating these kids on the field, off the field, how they're adjusting. Um, but the true evaluation starts tomorrow. We put the pads on, and again, I've told you this before, we've talked about this. Only way to learn to play football, the game of football, is to play it. I and mean, it's not done in shorts. Um, so tomorrow things get a little bit real, m more real, that's not a word, but uh, see how they push each other, see how they run with the pads on, see how they play the game. So coming in that first scrimmage, obviously we have to find a quarterback, um, and I like the room, we've got some great ones to choose from, but who's going to lead us in that first game um, and solidify some of the other positions? Because there's. Um, again, two recruiting classes. There's some competition on this field right now uh, from the youth up to the veterans that are graduating this year. So that will win a lot of games for Portland State football in the future. Okay, now, once again, it is 10 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Football practice is over. The NCAA no longer allows daily doubles. So many of you probably figure Coach Barnum is going to put the flip-flops on and go to the pool. That is not the case. So I'm going to put you on the spot here. Uh, tell the people watching what a day is like. Uh, all the processes you go through. I mean, uh, you have guys here at 6 a.m. eating bagels, um, and then there's practice. But all the things you do with coaches and players over the course of a day in preseason. 
Uh, attention to detail, Mike. Right? In fact, a friend uh, saw the, our schedule, our daily schedule, or our camp schedule the other day, and they, it was just one word, that, wow. <laughs> they said, you kidding me? Um, but uh, they started this morning with, like you said, taping, treatment, bagels at 6 a.m., um, uh, uh, breakfast to get them through this practice, uh, then practice, or meetings before that, special teams meeting before that, practice field now. Um, they're going to leave here, and their day is full. Uh, still a lot of prep stuff from pictures with you for the program um, to concussion baseline testing. There's a lot, lot going on medically just to make sure they're ready, and we get them to the practice field. Mix in with that lunch. We've got two meals coming up. We do take care of them food-wise, uh, thanks to uh, the mighty Columbia Tim Boyle. Um, it helps us out in that category. But And from there, uh, meetings split up whether it's a unit meeting, a position meeting, watching film. Not a lot of film uh, with just a 15-minute team period today, but that will take up a lot. Then you're on to the next opponent. They have to watch our next opponent, so the, the BYU, and then we get it done after that, and then the coaches meet, or we meet to make sure we're set for tomorrow morning. So it is a full day. Um, the boat will not be in the water <laughs> this afternoon. Um, but, uh, again, attention to detail, make sure that product – on College Football Saturday um, is something our fans are going to want to come watch. Okay, that's a quick day in the life of Portland State football camp. We'll have some more videos for you down the road. Once again, the Vikings practicing every morning here at Stock Community Field from 8 to 10 a.m. If you want more information on Portland State football, you need to buy your tickets, go to govikes.com.